Welcome to an episode of Quiz Me with Kripsky Cloud Prac Edition or Cloud Practitioner Edition. Cloud Practitioner is the entry uh, entry level certification of AWS where we talk about being the concepts of cloud or best practices of cloud. Today's guest is Brian. Uh, Brian, please introduce yourself. Hi, uh, I'm Brian Basai or you can call me Brian for short. So I started my AWS journey since September last year. So around four to five months from now. Four to five months, all right. As AWS, mm -hmm. um, I'm a developer by background. Ang stack ko is in .NET. .NET, all right. So with .NET, uh, are you also familiar with Azure? Uh, yes, I've I've used Azure in more than one occasion in my my career. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that's what that was my first exposure to cloud. cloud. Yes, cloud mm -hmm. technologies. But now um, you're shifting towards AWS as I, instead of Azure. So uh, uh, I'm using AWS now because um, my current company, Education.ph, uh, is using is using uh, AWS as their uh, infrastructure, mm -hmm. and so learning it, learning the infrastructure that I got is uh, vital to my role. I see. But uh, outside the work, um, from what you know so far, like uh, how's the market so far between all the cloud providers? So, uh, uh, in one way or another, parang my high level na understanding mm -hmm. of mga cloud providers, like say for Azure, my at least in my hands on now. Mm -hmm. With AWS, my hands on then now mm -hmm. na, na experience. Na experience, tama. So uh, all of them pretty much uh, offers nearly ident uh, the, the same services, pero in different flavors. Mm -hmm. Parang ganun yan. Mm -hmm. So yun na papansin ka. So uh, let's say uh, ang, ang uh, RDS parang may equivalent in sa Azure. Mm -hmm. parang, uh, parang may managed instances from them down mm -hmm. to or you can actually provision single databases nga lang rin dun eh. Mm -hmm. And sa, sa AWS, you can also provision like uh, EC2s in the same way you can provision virtual machines in sa Azure. Mm -hmm. So practically the same, That almost is. almost the same, pero like implemented differently lang talaga. And so um, now that you're a cloud practitioner, what's next for you? So I am already... Uh, uh, study for my SAA. I've tried it once. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. Yeah, failed. Failed, huh? By a very small margin. By a very small margin, yes. So mm -hmm. now I'm uh, I'm on track to retaking it again. All right. Yes, soon. Soon, soon. soon. Okay. All right. Okay, so now we, um, we have our questions for you, cloud practitioner questions, not the SAA. Mm -hmm. So this should be uh, answerable. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's see. It's been uh, five months, so let's see. All right. All right. True or false? AWS is responsible for in cloud security. So um, this touches on the shared security model of uh, AWS. Mm -hmm. So uh, AWS is uh, responsible for. The security of the cloud. Of the cloud, okay. Yes. And the customers are responsible for their data in the cloud. In the cloud, okay. Yes. All right. So, AWS, the true or false, AWS is responsible for in cloud security. That is false. That is false. Okay, let's see. False. That's correct because of the keyword, no? in cloud. Okay, in cloud versus off cloud. Second question. You need to send event-based notification for your application that is hosted on an EC2 instance. What service sends notification? So, uh, there are uh, four um, uh, options, options okay. there. So, there's SQS, there's CloudWatch, there's SNS, and there's SES. Mm -hmm. So, SQS uh, is... 
it's basically uh, uh, delivers messages by um, through wait, so the EC2 instances is like uh, let me rephrase rephrase that. okay the SQS is a it's a polling based uh, polling based yes service okay. CloudWatch so that naman is uh, is more of uh, for monitoring your resources okay and uh, used for notifications all right SNS naman is a push based push based yes uh-huh. SES is an email service okay so I would say I would assume it's SNS okay would you know what SNS stands for Simple notification service. Simple notification. Second word says it all, no? Okay. Simple notification service. Uh, this is your final answer? Yes. Okay, all right. Simple notification service. Okay, correct. Next question. The client has asked you to architect a new, highly available two tier web application in your AWS environment. Okay. To store the objects, photo, video, etc., the application requires a storage layer and must be cost effective. What service is the best choice? So there are four um, options on here. Of the four options, there are two storage options. What are the two storage options? That would be EBS and S3. S3. So an um, EBS uh it's a block based storage and it's you ma you mount it sa EC2 itself. Okay, and that which is option three, no? Yes. EC2. Oh. And EC2 naman is just a compute uh service. So definitely Indian storage. Mm-hmm. The RDS naman it's uh used for relational databases. Mm-hmm. So Indian used for storing objects such as uh, photos, videos, etc. It's not the best place, but you, best you can place. store. Yeah. yeah, you can store, but not the best place. Not the best place. Uh-huh. So S3 is an object storage service. So mm-hmm. uh, number two, yung answer sa chat. Which is S3. S3. What do you know what S3 stands for? Simple storage service. Simple storage <laughs> service. Okay, let's see if this is the correct answer. S3? Correct. Tama, tama. Yeah, now we have some stats. Some other people actually made mistakes, no? Okay. So, uh, ako naman dito. You've set up a... You, you've just set up a new system in AWS. And you want to see what expenses are paid for... Are, are paid for the services you're using. Would you what would you use to get understanding of costs and resources used? Okay, so uh, options use AWS Cost Explorer. So definitely cost uh cost uh related service. Yeah. Okay. The EC two dashboard, man, definitely no, because it will only show you the 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 Performance? Perf- no, rather the 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 breakdown of of the let's say the the number of EC2 instances currently okay. running, mm-hmm. your key pairs, okay. your security groups, etc. Mm-hmm. So definitely, wala siya dyan. Okay. Cloud trail logs, naman. It just shows their uh, parang audit trail yun mm-hmm. nagyan sa sa AWS console mo. Mm-hmm. So trusted advisor. Uh, dashboard is it's more of to uh, to optimize your uh, to optimize the performance and the costs mm-hmm. of your resources. Okay. So there's also cost there, correct? Uh-huh. Yes, yes. It's like a consultant. Right? Yes. No? It's like a mini SA or solutions architect. Yes, yes, correct. Pero um, I would choose Cost Explorer because. That's where you get the understanding of the cost and resources you use there. Eh. Mm-hmm. Parang, ang trusted advisor is just uh, uh, parang only as parang it only suggests mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. So cost explorer, yeah. All right. Uh, is this your final answer? Cost explorer. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see. All right. Uh, correct. 
Okay. Indeed. So I think uh, we have the last question. So far, you are five out of five, no? Uh -huh. um, the last question you cannot see. So let me just put it down a little bit. Okay. All right. So, which of the following is a major financial advantage for migratory systems hosted to AWS on at your on-site data center? Ooh, okay. that's a. Uh, uh, that's a difficult set of words, no? Uh, business heavy. Business heavy impression, uh, yes. Option one. Opportunity to replace variable operational expenses with low upfront capital expenses. No. Does it sound okay? No, park it. Uh, totally not. So, um, the question jan kasi is which of the following is a financial advantage mm -hmm. of uh, systems hosted in AWS? Mm -hmm. uh, versus uh, versus on, on site. Yes, versus on site. Okay. So, opportunity to replace your operational expenses with low from CapEx. Parang OPEX with CapEx is hindi siya ganun. Okay. Uh, hosting your systems on AWS actually uh, reverses that. Okay. You, you change your CapEx to OPEX. Mm. Yeah. So, option one is uh, eliminated. Oh, eliminated. Okay, option two. Opportunity to replace your upfront operational expenses with variable opera operational expenses. So, uh, pwede yan. Okay, so you'll park that answer. I'll park that answer. Okay. So, number Next. three is oppor opportunity to replace your upfront capital expenses ah, ca with low variable costs. Parang hindi yan yan eh. Hindi rin yan. Hindi rin yan. Okay, let's see. Upfront capital expenses. Uh -huh. Pero pwede rin siya actually. Pwede rin. Okay, so we'll, we'll park that. Uh -huh. So, opportunity to replace variable capital expenses with low upfront costs. Sige, parang malal, parang madami to ah. Pero mm -hmm. we have to, uh, I have to, uh, Reread the parang very read the parang yun irereread pero parang you have to get down to each detail okay na pero definitely hindi na yan number one yes so two to four yan mm -mm. so replace upfront operational expenses with low variable operation expenses parang hindi yan yun ni eh. mm -hmm. hindi na yan kasi you're ex you're actually replacing your Capex with OPEX. Eh. Okay. So, so I would say number one and two wala na yan. Mm -hmm. So, three and four, low upfront cost. So, number four says low upfront cost. What would low upfront cost be? Is that also Capex or still OPEX? Capex or OPEX for option four? Parang Capex pa rin yun eh. So, for option four, it's Capex to Capex. Uh -huh. But so, low front cost. So, I think uh, so three and a half dito. Why why even three? Because opportunity to replace upfront capital expenses with low variable costs. And okay. low variable cost is opex. Yes. Because of the word variable, no. Yes. Okay. So okay. your answer is number three. Let's see if you get a perfect score this time. Ah. Oh. Correct. <laughs> All right. Okay, you score 5 out of 5. You are Cloud Practitioner ready. Okay. All right. Yeah, so before we end, uh, Brian, any uh, tips and uh, yeah, for our audience? So, uh, my tips are just no, not, not to go, not to deep dive in all of the services because ang Cloud practitioner is more of a, uh, well, the, like our, like the hardest question just mm. went, went through kanina. Parang mas ganun siya. Mm. It's more uh, business. business. Yes. So, you have to understand the, the business side of using uh, AWS. AWS. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pero syempre, it also cover the services, pero on a high level lang. High level. It will never ask you to, parang, to describe it on a deeper level. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Although sometimes, guys, we do see some deep level questions, uh, but it's very one off, I, I would say. Yes. Um, it, they're probably there to gauge your understanding. Um, sometimes they do give you harder questions as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. And again, don't forget if you guys are want to train or you want to level up your AWS skills, here in the Philippines, we have many avenues. So you can go online, totally online. There's a free in AWS itself. There are AWS the training. There are also other videos in YouTube. Um, we'll also eventually post some videos about CloudBrock itself here in our own channel. Uh, if you also want offline training, uh, sometimes we have other companies that offer free one-day sessions. Um, the user group sometimes also give free three-day sessions. And also education.ph does some sick lab uh, throughout the year. Yes, education.ph. I'll just surely show my card, education.ph. And then, of course, uh, don't forget to always attend our meetups and like and subscribe our videos. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Bye. I'm your AWS hero. Bye. Okay. All right.